Hey everyone, this is an updated video on how to get a price spot going on your server. This supports now any CoinGecko listed token or any Solana token. And it'll look just like this, displaying the price on your server when it comes in. So how do we get this set up? Well, we've got a Replit template for this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to replit.com and search for crypto token price spot just like this or follow the link in the description and you're going to see this uh you're going to look for templates and you're going to see this template right here this is what you're going to want to fork this has all the code in it that you need to instantly launch a price bot so we'll hit use template there it will set it up if you're new to replit there'll be some uh, things to skip through and click through but voila, this is the code for the bot. So if we scroll down a little bit and we've just got a few inputs here, token name, token symbol, watching. These are the only inputs we need. And if we're gonna use CoinGecko, I'll show you real fast. The token name is the name at the end of this URL here. So you can see if you click on a coin, you get a name this is a, a specific id for the coin from coin gecko and that's the name we need to use if we're going to look up a coin gecko price if we're going to look up a it needs to go yeah right in there at the token name if we're going to do a any solana token we need to just make sure that the symbol is correct below and the name doesn't matter as much but we're going to use coin gecko for this example so we're going to set this input use coin gecko pricing to true and now we're about halfway set up, but what we need to do next is navigate over to the secrets in the bottom left corner. And we need to add some of our bot token and server information. So we need to add a secret here because you don't want to share this. And we're going to call a secret bot token. It needs to be spelled exactly like this, all caps, to work with the, the current bot code. And to get this, we need to have a Discord application. So navigate to discord.com slash developers slash applications and click new application. So this will be a new bot application. We'll call this one price bot. And a couple things that are important to do, need to uh, make sure you navigate to um, bot and then scroll down. We'll hit add bot first, then scroll down and make sure you turn on the server members intent and save changes this is very important after that what we're going to do is go to the oauth 2 section we're gonna first we're going to going to add a redirect and it doesn't matter what this is there just needs to be a redirect in place so we'll just use a replit try https replit that's good to go. And we need a URL generator so we can invite the bot to our server. Now, the only things we need here are bot um, for the permissions. We need, let's see, we need bot guild for scopes. And then we need change nickname under permissions. And this is all we need for the bot. We need to select the redirect here and then copy the link paste it somewhere and it will prompt you to authorize and uh, invite the bot to your server. So once you do that, bot should uh, show up in your server, but it won't be on yet because we haven't run the code from Replit. So let's jump back to our Replit. Uh, where were we? We needed the bot token, right? So let's go back to our bot application um, under bot, hit reset token. So give you a token. We're going to copy that and put that into that value field for bot token. Click add new secret. That'll save. And then there's one other important variable that we need to, what is this? 
Uh, just skip that step. One other important variable we need to add is, um, which is in the description at the top of this index file, and that's guild ID. So this is your server ID. Make sure your developer settings are on to get this. And if they're on, which is in your, you know, under your settings, you can just right click on your server and click copy ID. And then put that ID here under guild ID um, and add that as a secret as well. And these are the only two things you need. You need both of them or the bot will not work. The bot will not be able to correctly, you know, register your bot application and update it on your server. So we need both. And once we have both of them, we just hit run. The first time you do this, it might download a few packages for node, but then it should come up and run just like this and you'll get a little message in the console and if you jump back to the server you'll notice the bot is online and showing the price just how we would expect it to so everything's running perfectly but there's one other thing we need to look at because replit does not run continuously it'll go off after a little bit and then your bot will go offline so we need to look at this if you click on your bot and look at this always on functionality, you can turn this on to keep your bot awake 24 hours a day and keep the price displaying. Now, I, this costs a little bit of money. You'd have to sign up uh, for a plan on Replit of some sort or buy some cycles, but I do recommend doing it this way. However, there is an alternative. You could add some express code to this bot and then ping the bot with a service similar to Uptime Robot and that will also keep the bot alive for free. And if you wanna know how to do this, check out my previous video and then enable the keep alive function at the bottom of the template. The code is already written into the template so all you have to do is take it out of comments in the bottom of the, the index.js file. So that's all there is to it. Go build yourself a price bot.